Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at Diamondback's newest firearm. It's called the Sidekick. It is a 22 long rifle, 22 magnum revolver that looks like it's a cowboy action revolver. And in many ways it is, but in many ways it is not. We're going to talk about that. It's called the Sidekick. It comes with this cardboard case and two cylinders 22 long rifle and 22 magnum real easy to change those out i'm going to show that but diamondback priced it right for all of that msrp 320 bucks and i think that is pretty cool now i mentioned it's not exactly a cowboy action firearm because this is, this has a swing open cylinder all right you see this here this is typically the ejection rod and you would open the loading gate and revolve that cylinder and push out the the cases in this case you move that forward see that spring tension push on the opposite side of the cylinder and it kicks out the side like that this is a nine shot and currently i have the 22 long rifle cylinder 22 magnum may not be able to tell the difference right there but they are labeled and they are easily interchangeable so i'm going to show that but let's run through the revolver itself because this is a double action single action revolver already showed clear double action pull okay if you want to roll through those rounds rather quickly you could do that using that double action and of course the single action is available i am measuring the single action right at four pounds nice clean crisp shot right there the grip, definitely cowboy-like, is a glass-filled nylon, okay, polymer, it says DB right there, branded with the Diamondback logo. Checkering throughout the side panels, not much on the back, but it does have a nice feel to it, all right, you get three fingers on there for control of the pistol. It's a bit heavy, we'll get it on the scale, but the finish, you can see it's a matte black, that is Cerakoted. And I love Cerakote. You know, Cerakote is what I believe to be the strongest finish that, amongst the strongest finish that you're going to put on a firearm. And that matte black looks really cool. So it's not a blued firearm. It is a Cerakoted black firearm. You can see that big old hammer spur there that, uh, that definitely is nice for the reach to put it into single action. We'll swing open the cylinder here. Already showed nine shots, but it has all the makings of a quality revolver. You got your forcing cone, the timing hand, of course the yoke, and the ejection rod, just like that to get rid of those cases. A 4.5 inch barrel, I don't know that I mentioned that. It does have a bladed front sight and an integral rear sight, sort of a tunnel. So you measure those up, or shall I say align those up, go ahead and take your shots and see where you're hitting. I have to believe it's pretty accurate with a 4.5 inch barrel and zero recoil. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale now. Then I want to show you how simple it is to switch out those cylinders because you can literally do it in the matter of seconds. Okay, two pounds three quarters ounces we move that to just ounces the thing is weighing in at 32 and three eighths ounces 32 and three quarters okay close to 33 ounces so it's not light and it shouldn't be light you know it's it's a cowboy action revolver great training tool by the way but i want to show you how easy it is to switch these out so let's run through that and i think you'll find it pretty simple I'm going to show how easy it is to change out the cylinders. I currently have the 22 Magnum cylinder installed. This is a 22 long rifle. We're going to switch them out. If you look right into the frame there, there is a hole with a spring-loaded pin. So I have a punch here. You'll see that that is spring-loaded. I'm going to first swing out the cylinder and then take this punch and push it in. Then I'm going to release as I pull the cylinder toward me or toward the camera and I'm going to slowly release as that cylinder comes out just like that this is the 22 magnum I will install the 22 long rifle the same way I'm going to push that down insert this arm right here 
if I can get it in there properly. I'm going to slowly bring the punch forward. And just like that, the 22 long rifle cylinder is installed. Just like that, in a matter of seconds. Diamondback stepped away from the cowboy action norm and gave us some flexibility with the swing out cylinders that are interchangeable. The, the caliber chamberings, you know, you could train, shoot cheaply with the 22 long rifle. You could take some small game with the 22 Magnum. All depends on what you have in your ammo case. But also the double action is a nice touch. And of course, the single action to really zone in on that target. I, I like it. I like the, the, the Cerakote. I like the way it looks. It's got some weight behind it, and it should be a lot of fun. This here is a planker, in my opinion. It's priced right, and I look forward to doing some planking. Going to do that soon, hitting the range very shortly, and keep an eye out for the Diamondback Sidekick Range Review because that is forthcoming. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.